Are you ready to do this? Yes, I'm ready to be disappointed by probably some things. You're gonna be disappointed? We have another keto box. Anthony's sitting here. That means it's time to eat everything that's in this box. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you'll find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So it's October, we have the October Keto Box. We have Anthony here. Hello. If you're new to our channel, we get this box every month and Anthony, who is not a keto person, sits down with us and we try everything in the box so we can see what I think of it as a keto person and what Anthony thinks about it if as a non-keto person. So if he likes it, chances are it's probably good. And if I don't like it, it means it's absolute gutter trash and you shouldn't have it. <laughs> that is so not true. Well, I'm just giving an honest opinion of what other people <laughs> won't do. Now, if you don't know what a keto box is, it's a monthly subscription box that comes with all kinds of different snacks, usually like eight to 12 different ones. There's some coupon codes in there. It's a nice way to try products without buying an entire case of things. Uh, if you're interested in one, there's a link down below. We have a coupon code, which I think gets you like 15% off, I'm not quite sure. All the information is down below. If you do use that link, it does help support the channel and we greatly appreciate that. Are you ready to get into this? I am. Okay, so the way we do this is Anthony is going to decide what we're going to eat. Now, we're gonna go over like how much it is, what the ingredients are, what the nutrition is, and then finally taste it. What do you got? Pure? Oh, I have to read this one? Yes. Pure organic sugar-free chocolate drink mix. We actually had this before. I don't know, did I have it with you or with mom? Not with me. Okay, so this is, you mix it with eight ounces of milk alternative and one packet of drink mix, 10 calories, zero grams of fat, um, zero grams, uh, one gram of protein, four total carbohydrates, one gram of dietary fiber, two grams of erythritol, it makes it one net carb. And uh, the price on this, if anybody's interested, is $5.48 in Walmart for 41 servings. So that's pretty good, if it tastes good. The ingredients are organic cocoa powder, organic erythritol, a gum blend of acacia, xanthan, uh, organic sunflower lecithin, organic stevia leaf extract, organic natural flavors. So I'll be honest, while I was- What did you do? While, while I was listening to that, I was, I was, I was, Looking at the bottle, and I may have spilled some on the table. Nice. So I got some milk on the table. I see that. So is this supposed to be chocolate milk, essentially? I guess it's chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk, so if they mess it up, it's gonna... Is it snap? Yes. Like, it's bad enough you got it on the table, but don't get it on me. You're getting it on me. It snapped! Well, that's because uh. it, it was on the lid already. That smells like chocolate milk. What? <clears throat> it's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll be I honest. I feel like it needs more though. It needs more. It needs more. like a double serving. So. But it doesn't taste like almond milk. It and tastes, that's what this is. It's yeah, we almond put milk. almond milk in it. It tastes like what Nesquik tastes like if you didn't put enough powder in it. That's, yeah. It tastes I, I like just not enough Nesquik in your Maybe bottle. if you did a double serving, it would yeah. be really, really that was good. Actually, that was pretty or good. Or you know what else would be good? With the um, with that almond milk, eight ounces of almond milk, and put like a tablespoon <clears throat> or two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. That would make it like more thick. Yeah. Because the almond milk is very, very thin. And if you're wanting to use regular milk, it would be like a little bit thicker consistency. So maybe add just a touch of heavy whipping cream to give it that thicker taste. But it's not bad. And again, $5.48 for 41 servings. That's What's up? Bad. All right, next, Palmini lasagna, Heart of Palm lasagna sheets. Wait, that actually sounds pretty good. Well, I like Heart of it. Palm. Um, so let's see. What Hopefully there's only one ingredient. Ingredients, sliced hearts of palm, water, natural sea salt, sea salt and citric acid okay i'll take those ingredients um 
Three servings in a container. There's 20 calories per serving, zero grams of fat, four, gram, t four total carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, zero grams of sugar, one gram of protein. So there is two, two, net, carbs. two net carbs in the whole thing. Well, do you want to open it? We're going to open it. If we like it, we'll make lasagna for dinner. If we don't like it, you can eat it all. Do you have to cook it? No. Usually you would rinse them though. Yeah, it does say rinse and drain, but I don't really care. There's a pair of scissors there if you want to just cut a little piece of, oh, okay, that's not so bad. That's not really like a lasagna sheet though. It is good. So that's what it looks like. Not bad. It's actually pretty good. That's not bad. I also like Heart of Palm though. I would eat that. I feel like that would make a good lasagna. I think it would make a better lasagna than even zucchini. Usually yeah. we use zucchini. Well, ever since doing the meat layer, we don't yeah. we don't use the zucchini anymore. If you haven't seen that meat layer lasagna, there's a link over Anthony's head. I, we might have to try that. It does say rinse and drain, prepare pasta, bake, enjoy. But that's not bad. It's that's, actually pretty good. Okay, price on these. Two dollars and ten cents. And they had to buy really? it in like a box of like there were a bunch of them, but yeah, it worked out to be two dollars and ten cents a piece. So that's not too bad. That's pretty cheap, actually. Okay, what's up? Can you give me something good? No. Why? You're digging. Oh, oh, this actually looked good. So there's a thing here. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad we got that because here's the nutrition information on this. So the ingredients in this are filtered water, apple cider vinegar, mustard, which is distilled vinegar, water, mustard seed, salt, turmeric, paprika, uh, spices, garlic powder, distilled vinegar, tomato paste, salt, modified food starch, contains less than 2% of Worcestershire sauce, which is distilled vinegar and molasses, sea salt and sugar, uh, spices, celery, uh, termino, and then you have tomato concentrate, onion powder, Garlic powder, caramel color, paprika, lime juice concentrate, apple juice concentrate, natural flavors, uh, spices, and sucralose. That sugar was what's inside. I like they're really breaking it down. Is what's in Worcestershire sauce. So like I'm okay with that. So I'll be completely honest. I just saw zero sugar on the thing, and I thought it was a sugar alternative. And you said, and you said uh, like citric acid, and I'm like what? <laughs> and then I read it more and realized okay, that it's so a barbecue sauce. Okay, so this is Carolina sauce. barbecue sauce, by the way. Serving size is two tablespoons, 15 calories in a serving. There is zero fat, zero protein, two total carbohydrates. So that's it, two total carbohydrates. So I'm assuming this is one serving. This is supposed to be one serving. You're giving me the barbecue sauce. Oh, wow. That is good. Wow. That is good. That is some of the best barbecue sauce I think I have ever had. That is good. Like, wow. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, but it's got some good sweetness coming back. It gives you a kick and then sweetness. I'm going to take this and have this later. That is good. That's good. That is really good. See, this is why we like getting the keto box because I've never had that before. I've never even seen it before. I've seen Carolina barbecue sauce, but never like a zero sugar one. That's good. Okay, price on that is twenty five dollars. No, three. so I found I found it on Amazon. You have three choices. You can buy one bottle. It's a big bottle. How big though? Um, I don't remember now. It was like. Does it say on 18 there? ounces. 18 ounces, yeah. So an 18 so ounce bottle, pretty, it's a pretty decent bottle. One bottle is $12.50. Two bottles is $16. So for just $4 more, $3.50 more, you get a second bottle. $25 gets you three bottles, which kind of. That doesn't really make much sense. Wait. You're better off spending $32 and, and getting, getting four, four bottles. Yeah. So it looks to me like the 16 for two, which, what does that break it out to be? $8 a bottle? Yeah. And then 25 divided by three. That turns out being around $8 a bottle. 
So yeah, it's, it's actually to, cheap. The cheapest option is two for sixteen dollars. Like eight twenty a bottle if it, you do to the three the three for twenty five. Yeah, so that's the cheapest. Not by much, but that's the cheapest. It's still cheaper. That is that's really good barbecue sauce. Really good. Professor Nuts peanut butter reimagined peanut butter, old school smooth. So, ingredients: double roasted runner peanuts, corn fiber, grape seed extract. Sea salt, stevia plant extract, organic sea flower lecithin, um, and process on equipment and or packages products that may contain egg, milk, or wheat. Um, where is... There it is. Okay, digestive facts. Hold on, this is a really weird... Okay, so there's two and a half servings in this package. A serving size is two tablespoons. And is this say 28 calories? Is that saying 28 calories? Calories per serving is 28. It's 28. Um, hold on, because these are these are the actual. So it's digest. They're giving digestible fat. That's a little sketch. I'm gonna say that. So, okay, I I'm gonna read this. Okay, so the ingredients are double roasted uh, runner peanuts, whatever that means. I don't know what that is. Corn fiber, grapeseed extract, sea salt, stevia plant extract, organic sunflower, uh, safflower, less than that. It's supposed to be peanut butter. Yeah, I don't understand Why are there a bunch understand of ingredients this. in peanut butter? Okay, are they going for like a super low calorie, low fat peanut butter? So let's get into this. So a serving size is two tablespoons, but it's only 20 calories per serving. So... Yes, they're going for something super low calorie because they're saying down here on the back, they're saying this is zero grams of digested fat, zero grams of digested carbohydrates with 4.4 grams of dietary fiber and seven grams of protein. So they're saying it's all protein and your body won't utilize any fat or any of the carbohydrates in here. This is nonsense. I've never seen this. So before. then they have nutrition facts if you don't believe the nonsense on this like ingredient label. Two tablespoons, servings per jar is 11. 11 servings in this jar. Holy crap. Um, Wait, about, but up there it says two and a half servings per pack. Right. So then, then it says there's 200 calories in a serving. 144 calories from fat, 16 grams of fat. And then, let's see, 7 grams of protein, 6.47 total carbohydrates, 4.4 grams of dietary fiber. This, this is, is the most sketch thing I've seen in a okay, while. Okay, we have to try this because yes. that's the opposite. But I'm going to tell you, if we weren't trying this, I would be throwing this across the room. And I don't like to do this to little companies, but do not buy this crap. You're going to put this kind of stuff on a label... Oh my gosh, and the jar is half empty. <laughs> we don't have a spoon. No, we don't. Okay. I guess we're doing this, right? I guess. It It's like peanut butter. It tastes like peanut butter. That's some really good peanut butter, I'll be honest, though. Ooh. It's like stuck to the roof of my mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm why okay it tastes like peanut butter i would not buy just because of this nonsense on the back that they're telling you that your body is not going to digest any of the fat or the carbohydrates like i think that's disgusting i don't think there's any reason to have corn fiber and grapeseed extract in peanut butter maybe that's what it is the corn fiber is making it really thick at the end and it's making it sweet yeah and it's supposedly cutting it down so what they're trying to do is put just a little bit of peanuts, but then adding a bunch of corn fiber to give you a lot more and tell you like it's lower carbohydrate. Um, peanut butter should have one or two ingredients. Peanut butter and oil. No, salt. Not even. Oh, it shouldn't salt, even have true. oil. Peanuts well, it has its own and oil. salt. Sometimes they're going to add oil, but it's always going to be bad oil. So it should be peanuts and salt. And if your peanut butter has anything other than peanuts and salt, throw it in the garbage. Are you ready for this one? Because I knew you were going to like this. That little tiny jar in your hand, six dollars. No way. Six dollars. I had to look They're at the high. Price. If you get a normal twelve ounce jar of peanut butter from them, it's sixteen dollars. That's ridiculous. Next up. That's that's a scam. <laughs> 
Okay, California Keto. These are pumpkin spice cookie baking mags. Uh, you made them, right? Yes, I did. They turned out a little weird. They came out a little weird because you were supposed to flatten them, but he didn't know that until halfway through. Okay, so what you're supposed to do with this in a bowl, you combine four tablespoons of softened butter, a quarter of a cup of, pure, of pureed pumpkin, and then the cookie mix. The ingredients are almond flour, erythritol, baking powder, natural vanilla flavor, spices, salt, xanthan gum, and monk fruit extract. Um, 12 servings per container, so it made 12 cookies. Uh, 5 grams of fat, 2 grams of protein, 60 calories. That's for the dry mix. Let's go to, right to a, a prepared cookie. 100 calories per cookie, 9 grams of fat, uh, 2 grams of protein, 8 total carbohydrates, 1 gram of dietary fiber, 7 carbs per cookie is you know it's gonna turn out being two net they're carbs. saying two net carbs but allulose maybe there's no allulose in here something's wrong oh i'm sorry five grams of sugar alcohols thank you say monk fruit extract is not a sugar alcohol oh there's erythritol okay so two net carbs per cookie are you ready yes i it's pumpkin the house smells like pumpkin right now Those are actually pretty good. Oh, okay. You kind of undercooked them a little bit, but that's how I like cookies. I eat under, I like undercooked cookies. I like soft cookies. It's got a good flavor. Not, I feel like it needs a little bit more pumpkin in it. More f pumpkin spice. Yes. I feel like it, it could use, it's not overly spicy. Um, not bad. The only thing I would say I'd like them to list the spices because there's some people who are allergic to like some of these spices. That's true. I mean, I think most people who are allergic to like, for example, Christopher's allergic to cinnamon or he can't have cinnamon. Anything pumpkin usually has cinnamon in it. Yeah. Any kind of pumpkin spice, but- Pumpkin it, spice usually has it, cinnamon. It would be it. nice to just tell us what the spices are on here. Um, $9.49 for this bag. That's kind of expensive. That's a little expensive. That's, how many cookies did you make? Is, did you make 12 cookies? I squeezed 12 cookies out of So there. this is- They're this, very so small. A That's dollar. a cookie. That's a dollar? That's over a dollar? It's over a dollar. Nine fifty plus you have to buy the pumpkin. So and you need that's butter. A, that's about a dollar. Yeah, so these cookies are about a dollar a piece. I don't know. More than a dollar a piece. That's that's a bit much. That's a bit much. Yeah. But they taste good. That, yeah. Do this. Chalk Zero Dark Chocolate Is it my turn? No, you just read that one. Oh. Yeah. I was going to do this one. I wanted to do this This is one. a pump. Is It's not pumpkin flavored chocolate or is no. it just shaped in the shape of it's a pumpkin? It's shaped in the shape. All right. So they're individually wrapped. So you can't just. This, right. We have not them. tried these. But this right here makes this box worth it. All right. I don't think I've ever seen like a whole bag of Chalk Zero in here. Well, Halloween comes but once a year. Inside this bag, you'll find sugar-free cheer. No tricks, just purely treats. Join us in a journey to be in the new standard in sweets. Oh, I like this Dr. Seuss going on over here. All right, ingredients. Dark chocolate, which is just unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, soluble, soluble corn fiber, non-GMO resistant dextrin, Sun, sunflower leche thin, natural pumpkin pie flavor. I told Ooh, you there is pumpkin there in it. there is pumpkin in it. Monk fruit extract, Madagascar bourbon vanilla beans. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Um, and then ingredients. So a serving size is one piece. It's wrapped in 20 individual pieces. Um, one piece is 20 calories, two grams of fat. 20 calories for a piece of chocolate. 20 I'm calories in. for a piece of chocolate. Three grams of total carbs, three grams of fiber, um, zero grams of sugar, zero grams of sugar, alcohol. So it's one total, one net carb for one piece of chocolate. Ha! Look at this. That's perfect though. Sometimes you just want that little something, right? Oh, this is so cool. It's got a little face on it. We'll like put a, a picture of it. Yeah. No way that's dark chocolate. That is good. I don't taste much of the pumpkin pie that they put in there. I don't either. I still like it though. That is good. Yeah, I don't taste any pumpkin. It doesn't taste like dark chocolate. It... I mean, I love Chalk Zero. It's kind of like not dark chocolate, but not milk chocolate. It's like in between. 50%. Right? Almost, yeah. It's like in between. It's honestly like milk. Baker's chocolate, because Baker's chocolate 
is a little bit more of the darker chocolate side, but it still has that milk chocolate yeah, aspect of this, it. These are really good. I love the little serving size. I mean, talk about like, if you really want to be awesome for yeah. Halloween. I mean, just giving out one of these, at least you feel like I'm not giving something horrible to kids. I may, I, don't, I wonder if I can get a bunch of these in time for Halloween. <laughs> Hand these out. Maybe. Um, Price on the six dollars for the bag. Five ninety nine for the bag. That is not bad that's at not all bad. for twenty pieces too. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Save that for mom. She's gonna like that. What's up? Really? Yes. Really? Have fun with salt. <laughs> salt. We've had this before. Laguna Salt Company Pink Himalayan handcrafted oh, sea salt. Oh, I thought it was a special one. No. So the ingredients in this are salt. Salt. I would hope that's the only thing. Actually, it doesn't even say that on here. I feel like if you don't. It just get that. says all natural, non GMO, gluten free Laguna Salt Company from Laguna Beach, California. I don't understand how don't... we have pink Himalayan salt from Laguna Beach, California. That makes no sense it to me. I don't think. Do we really need to try it? Of course we do. Okay. This is the third time we've had this. No, last time we had the rosemary one. They had the rosemary salt. That one was good. That's a lot of salt. I'm keto. It's salt. It's <coughs> Honestly, Redmond is better. I'm so used salt. to Redmond, it almost tastes like table salt. Um, Redmond's got that sweetness taste to it, right? You you can you can lick Redmond all day long. It's sweet. Here's the worst part: eight dollars for this little thing. This is eight dollars. That's a little that's eight dollars. Too, too much money. Next up. I'll let you go again. Oh, I like this one. Keto Fit Bar. We've actually done a review of this. It's been a long time since we had a Keto Fit Bar. I'm opening it here. Um, ingredients are organic almond butter, chicory root fiber, cacao butter, uh, grass-fed collagen, organic 100% cocoa, uh, cacao chocolate chips, MCT oil powder, which is MCT oil and acacia fiber, sunflower lecithin, erythritol, uh, organic coconut oil, organic cocoa, natural flavors, Himalayan pink salt, and stevia. Serving size is one bar. I wonder if you'll ever have what like a serving size is a half a bar. I feel like somebody would try to pull that. Calories, 290. Heavy, heavy calorie bar. 25 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, 13 total carbohydrates, 10 grams of dietary fiber, zero sugar, alcohol, three net carbs. I, I feel like he's changed the... Um, the uh, ingredients here a little bit. Um, I know that it says erythritol, and I asked him about this a long time ago because it doesn't say any sugar alcohols. He says it's less than a gram, but it's 10 grams of fiber. That's a lot of fiber. So they're using the fiber as the sweetener. Oh. Yeah, they even look different. These look very different. Is this be chocolate flavor? It's numb. It's not as good as it used to be. It tastes like sidewalk chalk. No. I don't know what they did to it. I don't think I have any of the old bottles, the old bars, but they changed this. It tastes like sidewalk chalk. Oh, no. They it's changed it. It's very chalky. It. Oh, I used to love the old, whatever the, the, I don't know what they did, but they did something to it. $40 for 12 bars, $3.33 a bar. That's not, that's not good enough. Um, what do I want to do? Do this one. Slim Fast Keto Bomb, Fat Bomb, Snack Crisps. Um, so the ingredients are cheddar cheese, which is milk, milk, salt, and cheese, cultures, enzyme, oh, that's literally the only thing. Cheddar so it's cheese. cheese. So, so it's basically like moon cheese. Yeah. Um, one serving per container, 80 calories, six grams of fat, one gram of total carb, zero grams of fiber, no sugar. Wow, Slim Fast actually has something that like, actually... I can agree with their product. And I'll tell you right now, I don't mean, I don't know what they taste like, but I kind of like the whole idea. So they're like pun with. I really like the individual serving bag because I have a problem with cheese. I mean, it's nothing fancy. The cheese West. They're good though. You want me to be honest? I mean, they're not as flavorful as some of the other ones. 
I don't have a price on this. I looked everywhere. I cannot find a price on it. I couldn't find a price anywhere on this. Yeah, this one. Bar heavy. Fat bar. We've had this before. Ingredients. Where is it? Some, some small ingredients. And, and it's on the fold. Chicory root extract. That's the first thing. T chicory root, desiccated coconut, macadamia nuts, almonds, almond oil. Contains tree nuts. That's it. So there's no sweetener. So it's all fiber. Let's get into this. 146 calories per bar, 11 grams of fat, 2 grams of protein, 14 total carbs, 11 grams of dietary fiber. So it's three carbs per serving. So what's the flavor supposed to be? Coconut and macadamia nut. But there's a lot of fiber in that. I really like macadamia nut. The number nut. one ingredient is is chicory extract. That's the number one ingredient. That's I really the fiber. like macadamia nut, but I don't I don't care for coconut too much. We gotta and see. it's masticated coconut. I don't so even it, know what that is. So it should be like the inside of an almond joy, or a mounds. Almond joy suck. Anthony, I hate this is a family joy. channel. It's a candy bar. What? Yeah. What child likes ma What child likes almond joys? I loved almond joys. You're well. wrong. It smells like an almond joy. It's not sweet at all. I'd rather eat an almond joy. I mean, it's not bad. Where's the macadamia nut? It's like. Masticated with the coconut. I don't like it. I'm out. And it's not bad, but and for that reason, I'm out. If any of you guys watch Shark Tank, here's the problem it's not sweet and it's a lot of fiber. Yeah. It's a lot of fiber. I mean, 11 grams of fiber. This is half the size of, of a perfect keto bar, and it's got more total carbs, more fiber, half the calories, and half the size. It, it's no, no. Oh, price on those. Five, fifteen dollars for five bars to so three dollars. I mean, again, it doesn't taste bad, but it's not sweet at yeah. all. You're eating like almost unsweetened coconut. Shrewd food, shrewd food protein puffs, sour cream and onion flavor. All right, ingredients. Milk protein isolate, natural sour cream and onion seasoning, and that has cream solids, cultured sour cream powder, cream cultures, lactic acid, salt, buttermilk solids, onion powder, non-fat, dry milk, contains 2% or less of the following. Parsley, lactic acid powder, um, citric acid, natural flavored, sea flower oil or garlic. Safflower oil. Safflower flower oil and garlic powder. And serving size is one bag, 90 calories in the bag, two grams of total carbs, one gram of total sugar, and 14 grams of protein. So two carbs per serving. Okay, so these are sour cream and onion. Anthony recently tried the sour cream and onion schoolyard snacks cheese doodles and said it was the best it sour was the cream best ever. sour cream and onion chip so I technically have ever this eaten. should be similar because this is a protein puff which is what those are and it's sour cream and onion the other one's better you like these better no the schoolyard snack yeah they're not bad these are not bad at all the other one is way better do you not agree They've like changed their formulation on Shrewd Foods. I think they taste so much better now. They're good. They have flavor all the way through. The first time that we ever tried them, it was like the flavoring was on the outside and nothing was on the middle. They're good. What are you making a pile of what you're keeping over there? No, not, oh yeah. I'm gonna keep this one. $15 for eight bags of that, $1.87 a bag. Oh, you really want to kill me. Good fats. Love good fats bars, which I don't love. I think they're disgusting. At least every one I've ever had has been disgusting. Have you had this one? I don't know. Salted caramel flavor. Ingredients is a fats That's a blend. long list of ingredients. The ingredients is a fats blend, which is dry roasted <laughs> almonds, toasted coconut. <laughs> God, 
Hey, coconut man. <laughs> Organic virgin coconut oil. Median trained triglycerides. Tapioca fiber. Fava bean crisps, which is a fava bean protein isolate and tapioca starch. White chocolate, coat flavored coating, which is chicory root fiber, palm kernel oil, and palm oil. Milk protein isolate, cream with natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, vanilla powder, salt, stevia leaf extract, chicory root fiber, glycerin, God. sunflower oil, sea salt, natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, stevia leaf. This is a lot of ingredients and a lot of fibers. I'm, I'm trying to see how many fibers did I see? A lot. Tapioca fiber, chicory root fiber, uh, glycerin is going to be a sugar alcohol, another chicory root fiber. There's a lot of fiber in this. Okay. 180 calories per bar, 13 grams of fat, 8 grams of protein, 15 total carbohydrates, 11 grams of dietary fiber, and uh, zero sugar alcohols. I don't like coconut. I have not had one of these I liked yet. It's very salt heavy. I don't taste the caramel. That's not bad. This one's actually not bad. But it's got a lot of fiber. And for all of that fiber that they're using it's as a sweetener. To it's not very sweet. The salt definitely overpowers the caramel in this sense. I feel like these little rice crisp things are supposed to be crunchy and they're not. They're not. But they're supposed to be, aren't they? I don't think so. Okay. This is very similar to those new Quest bars. And those are much better. <clears throat> I'm having a hard time swallowing it. <clears throat> I, I don't know. It's a little too chewy no, for me. It's just not for me. Um, $28 for 12 bars. $2.33 a bar. All right, last thing. As always, I end on a meat stick, and I always get it. Um, Grass-fed beef stick by Fink Jerky. Um, zero grams of sugar, eight grams of protein, 80 calories. It's All right, ingredients. 100% grass-fed beef, sea salt, encapsulated lactic acid, spices, cultured celery powder, granulated garlic, granulated onion, stuffed in a beef collagen casing. So not bad ingredients. So, yeah. 80, 80 calories, once one serving. 5 grams of fat, no trans fat, and 1 carb, no sugar. Okay. This must be a trial here. That's pretty good. I've had better. It's not bad. Tabitha, what do you think? Come here. You want to try this? You want to try it? What do you think? It's okay. Those are $25.00. For 20 of them. So they're $1.25 a bar. You didn't like it, huh? Okay. Well, that wasn't my be, favorite. That's going to be this week's video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out our complete playlist that you're going to find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. But, like Rachel always says, whether you do that or you do this, make sure you click right here and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the little bell button so that you are notified every single time we make a new video and Tabitha makes a special appearance. Until next time, bye. bye.